Hello Dave is brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. Become a Patreon yourself and get your name listed as a supporter at the end of every video by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a lovely weekend and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. So let's um, have a look at some of the announcements that's been going on in Elite. In game wise, um, there's not a lot, but there's been a few announcements from Frontier regarding um, like public events. Um, of course, they have already announced that they're going to be at the um, the PAX West and the GamesCon. PAX West, of course, in Seattle, and GamesCon is some town in Germany. Um, can't remember the name. But, um, and of course, there'll be Elite Meets around that, where you can go and you can meet up with fellow uh, Elite Dangerous uh, players. Um, I, unfortunately, will not be able to, uh, to participate. Um, but one thing that does puzzle me um, a little bit is I'm pretty sure I recall that Frontier at some point said that they were going to host an expo this year. Um, but we're getting pretty close to the time where we would expect it to be. Last, uh, I mean, so far we got at the at the end of last year, I think it was, was it October? Uh, maybe November, I can't remember. But the expo was like towards the end of the year last year. Um, where we got the roadmap for, for Elite for this year, and uh, I, I, they did say that it was probably not something they're going to do every year, but I'm pretty sure also heard or uh, read somewhere that they were planning to do an expo this year, but with all the talk of all the Gamescon packs, and, and, and there's also, we've, I've been talking with, it, with some of the people on Discord as well, that it's be, we're getting to a point now where it seems like uh, that maybe it's, uh, it's going to be cancelled. I have no app, I have no, um, I have no official statements or anything to build this on. It just seems like we're getting so close to the um, to the expected date, which would be like October, November kind of thing, um, that either they're gonna push it uh, to to September or maybe even sometime in uh, in the new year, but. At least from the people I have talked to, it doesn't even it doesn't seem like um, I haven't heard anything at least that they have been reaching out to vendors um, to actually join up on the event, um, and and that is an indication that I I'm afraid that the, maybe the expo is not going to be this year. But again, this is just my own uh, my own speculation, so don't put that much into it. I really hope um, I've been been counting a lot on that uh, there would be an expo uh, this year i've been really looking forward to it so i would really hate to see it uh, being uh, being cancelled um but then of course i guess we'll just have to wait and then uh, hope that they will actually hold one next year because uh yeah again work uh, prohibit me from uh, from joining um last year and would really have loved to uh, to join this one this year so i i still have a faint hope that they're gonna come out with a with an announcement of something uh, either late in the year or um or sometime the new year um but uh i'm beginning to have my doubts though uh so i would really hope that uh, that we're gonna see some something soon but anyway that's um that's something that at least i'm keeping a very keen eye on and see if if there's anything and it might be that i've missed a forum post or something with that announcement somewhere and if i have please feel free to uh to link it in the description um even though it probably will be captured by uh by Google's uh, filters, I will make sure to approve a comment like that. Um, anyway, so that's just uh, one of the things that I've been uh, that I noticed in at least today's uh, this, this last week's uh, newsletter from uh, from Frontier. Um, also happening uh, actually right now and all of next week and especially next weekend, there is a um, there's a meteor shower going on at the moment and. Meteor showers are when we have... Okay, so there's a difference between comets and asteroids. Asteroids are like big chunks and rocks and iron that often orbit somewhere between the Earth and Mars. Um, and then you have comets, which are huge chunks of ice and dirt, which frozen. Um, and comets are often found out in the Oort cloud outside of... Uh, of uh, Pluto's orbit, so way, way, way outside uh, the, the regular part of the solar system. 
Um, but from time to time, some of them will descend into a very elliptical trajectory. So they will be sent in and they will go in very close by the sun. They will go out again. Then they will spend a lot of time out there flying very slowly. Then it will go in and come and uh, come by uh, the sun. And since they're primarily made of, of, of frozen ice and dirt, whenever they come close to the sun, they get heated up and they begin to um, to lose some of them, some minor fragments here and there. And they then leave that in their orbit like a debris. So their orbit is filled with debris from themselves as, as they are, are orbiting. And some of these comets orbit will cross the path of uh, of the Earth from time to time. Well, the orbit will sometimes path uh, our um, our orbit. Not that we are in in the exact same place at the same time, but they will come close to our orbit. And that, of course, means when we get to that point in the orbit, so that specific time of the year, we will then actually fly through that debris field that the comet left behind, um, and that's what gives us a meteor shower. And the meteor in uh, in question this time is called 109P, and more popular name is called Swift Turtle. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't name these things. I just work here. <laughs> anyway, um, I think they're named after the two guys who discovered them um, back in, was it 1862, I rec I, if I recall correctly, when uh, when it last, uh, when it passed. Um, and so the comet um, passed, I think last time was in 1993. Um, but that's um, that's the tail, that, uh, that's the debris field that we're heading into uh, at the moment. And the peak of the meteor shower is going to be when, of course, we pass through the core of, uh, of that uh, debris field. And that's going to be between the 11th and the 13th of August. So um, I believe you have to be in the northern hemisphere to be able to see it. Otherwise, you might you might be. I actually not one hundred percent sure. If you should be able to see it on the southern hemisphere too, I guess. Um, I'm actually not sure where on the Earth you can uh, you can see these uh, the meteor shower. But at least in um, in in Europe, you can at least uh, at least see it. I would expect you could see it from uh, from the US as well. Um, and it's supposed to be quite uh, quite intense. There should be an average of around 110 um, shooting stars per hour, which is quite a lot. Um, so, so definitely, if um, if you have a clear night and you uh, and you want to, to go out, this is a good time in uh, next weekend to go out and have a look at some uh, some shooting stars. Um, it's actually it's it's. As I said, it's passing quite quite close to our our orbit, but it doesn't really mean that it's it, that we are in any danger of, of of being hit by it. I mean, the closest distance to the Earth orbit is 130 kilometers or 84 100 130,000 kilometers and 84,000 miles, um, which is quite close. Uh, it's it's actually very close, but because it's close to our orbit, again, as I said, it doesn't mean that we're in the wind. We're not really in the right position when it passes, so it's not really any in a danger to us. I believe they have calculated the orbit um, of that specific asteroid in the next two thousand years, and in the next two thousand years, the closest approach is going to be um, an estimated distance of about a million miles from uh, from the Earth, and that's going to be in the year three thousand and forty-four. So it's it's not going to be in any any danger to hit us, at least not that uh, comet. So. There will probably be others, but anyway, um, if there's a clear night, try to go out and see if you can find yourself some uh, some shooting stars. And um, that leads me on to talk a little bit about the uh, live streaming. It's gonna be going on and the usual spot tomorrow, seven o'clock in game time. Uh, if you're in the central part of Europe, that would be nine o'clock. Um, daylight saving, everything. S Exact what's gonna be going on on the stream. I'm not sure. The last uh, couple of streams has been very much focused on uh, on the whole mining build, and I have finished the video on um, on the mining cutter, which is unless something happens, gonna be coming out on Wednesday, so you can get that build. I am currently working on a uh, on the speed build. We did do a little bit on it in the last stream. Um, where we tried it out on a crate, I have since moved the modules over to a Python because it gives a little bit, it's slightly better for what I'm trying to use it for here. But um, 
But I'm not sure if I want to continue with the whole mining thing, even though it's something that I, I really enjoy and you guys seem to uh, to enjoy it as well. Um, I might see if I can find some uh, some other project to uh, to start. I have a long list of, uh, of projects that uh, that I want to go through. Um, talking about projects, I uh, on on Saturday, uh, which for you guys would be two days ago, I launched a um, I launched a video about uh, I think it was named something like uh, "Are you burned out of elite?" question mark Here's what I do where I talk about some of the things you can do if you're feeling burned out of the game to what well, this is, will apply to many games, not just Elite. What you can do to try and keep your your interest in the game um, so you don't begin to feel feel burned out. And I was really surprised at, um, I don't know if you call it how well this, this video is doing, but at least at the amount of attention that video has, uh, has been gaining has really been surprising to me. Um, I don't know if that's a positive thing, though, that that uh, a video about being burned out of Elite is uh, <laughs> is getting so much attention. But um, but at least I, I I hope that's not an indication that that people are feeling uh, feeling frustrated with the with the game. I mean, Elite can be a frustrating game from time to time, especially if if you hit a grind wall. That is one of the topics that I do touch on in the video. What you can do to try and um, and spread out the quote-unquote grind so that you're not going to be sitting like three or four nights in a row just doing the exact same thing hunting USSs for high-grade emissions or whatever you're doing to try and get your whatever you're trying to collect um, and trying to give some some pointers on what you can do to try and avoid something like that in that video but anyway um, I hope that you'll join me for uh, for the live stream tomorrow. Um, topic is, uh, is, as I said, yet unknown. I uh, I might even go and uh, and stream something uh, completely different for a change, but um, I guess I'll figure that out tomorrow. Anyway, I um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I don't think it was uh, was that long. It's actually pretty pretty decent, about twelve minutes ish. Anyway, I hope you liked today's video. If you did. Give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.